Now, Python environment, right? So first of all, you will likely work on multiple Python projects at the same time, right? And each of these projects will require a set of third-party Python packages. To achieve a stable and reproducible regression test results, the project will require specific versions of these packages, right? And before upgrading a third-party package, its new version must be tested to confirm all regression tests pass. So you need the virtualized Python environment, which is a sandbox, right? So third-party packages installed into that sandbox do not affect, uh, actually there's a typo here, do not affect other sandboxes. Popular options for virtualized Python environments, right? So if you go to, uh, to PyCharm, it will tell you, you can do VN, you can do Conda, uh, and you can do a bunch of others. So VN is a lightweight environment manager for Python, requires a separate package manager, which is actually built into Python. And it's recommended when you only need to virtualize Python. Right. So this is sort of like, uh, I don't know, containers for uh, Linux, where it's a very lightweight piece of uh, code. It just provides uh, packages as an extension on top of a standard Python installation on your machine. Right. And Conda, which is the second option, is both package and environment manager. Right. So in other words, uh, with VN, uh, there is a separate tool uh, in a separate uh, environment manager. So Conda actually has its own version of both. And uh, only in my opinion, right? Even though you know sometimes people like Conda, also sometimes, uh, for example, there are a lot of organizations in which you only have Conda or only have uh, VN, right? So you don't have a choice. But if you do have a choice, um, Conda is great because it's not specific to Python, right? So, for example, if you write C plus plus, is is you know many many um, engineers who work on math uh, or on finance, uh, you have to write. C++ code that you invoke from Python. And if you need to version not only Python libraries, but also C++ libraries, Conda is better because you do it all together and you don't have to use um, um, a Conan. Uh, so there's something called Conan, which you can work in parallel with VM, right? But Conda has both of them in the same uh, package. And your virtualized environment for both of them is based on a specific version of Python. And we recommend to stay one version behind the latest established stable release. For example, right now, the stable release, uh, latest stable release is 3.10. I'm using 3.9 because there are a lot of third-party libraries that take time to upgrade and certify the latest Python version. For example, machine learning libraries, math libraries, you know, there's some answer change a little bit. They, they want to verify why. So uh, my recommendation is to always stay one version behind the latest stable release. 